Hello students, uh, myself Mehul Kodia from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session, we discussed one theory based on geometric transformation. So in last session, we discussed about what is scaling and uh, we derive equation of the scaling geometric transformation and also we solve one numerical based on that. So a uh, total five geometric transformation we have to discuss. First one that is translation, second one that is rotation and third one that is scaling. So in today's session we have to discuss one more transformation process that is 2D reflection in computer graphics. Now what is the meaning of reflection? It is the one type of user effect. So in this uh, session we have to discuss if you uh, reflect any of the object about x axis or about y axis. So you have to just you all know in a geo in a Cartesian coordinate system total four quadrant is there. First quadrant in first quadrant x and y coordinate value of x and y coordinate both are positive. In second quadrant, value of x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. In third quadrant, value of both the coordinates are negative and in fourth quadrant, value of uh, x coordinate is positive but value of y coordinate is negative. So you all know this thing. So we have to use this fundamental in this theory. Clear? So uh, 2D reflection in computer graphics. So 2D reflection in computer graph, reflection is a kind of rotation where the angle of rotation is 180 degree. Okay. Next, the, reflect, uh, the reflected object is always formed on the other side of mirror. Clear? Reflection means it is the one type of the mirror effect. The size of reflected object is same as size of the original object. So in reflection, size of object will not change. Clear? Next, uh, now we have to uh, derive equation of the reflection. So in equation of the reflection, we have to just consider one point in first quadrant and the coordinate of that point that is x old comma y old. Clear. Now we have to uh, derive equation uh, of two equations. First equation that is reflection about x axis and second equation that is reflection about y axis. So first we have to consider one point O point and coordinate of that point that is x old comma y old and uh, this point is in first quadrant. Okay. And we have to consider new point coordinate that is x new comma y new. So we have to derive relationship between new point coordinate and old point coordinate. Okay. So first we have to discuss reflection on x axis. So, as you all know, the consider point O is in first quadrant. If you find out reflection about x axis of that particular point, so reflection about x axis, then that point the reflection uh, you will find in the fourth quadrant. Clear? If any of the object, any of the triangle, rectangle, or a circle, any of the object is uh, in first quadrant. After that, if you find reflection about x axis, then that reflection is uh, find, uh, uh, generated in the fourth quadrant. So, in first quadrant, value of both the coordinate are positive, but in fourth quadrant, uh, the value of x coordinate is positive, but value of y coordinate is negative. And as you all know, the size of the object in reflection is same. So, suppose if any of the points, suppose for 5, 5, 5 point is in first quadrant. If you find reflection of that point about x axis, then that point reflection of uh, generated in the fourth quadrant. But in fourth quadrant, the uh, x coordinate value is positive and y coordinate value is negative. So in first quadrant point 5 comma 5, but reflected point coordinate is 5 comma minus 5. Clear? Yeah, because reflection generated in fourth quadrant, but in fourth quadrant value of x is positive but value of y coordinate is negative. So we have to use this fundamental and uh, derive equation. So value of old point that is x old clear x old comma y old and uh, reflection is generated in fourth quadrant. So new point coordinate that is uh, x new comma y new clear. So what is the relationship between x new and x old and y new and y old? So as you all know, value of x coordinate is same as old point coordinate. So x new and x old both are same. 
So x nu is equal to x cold, but the value of y coordinate in the first point value of y coordinate is positive in first quadrant, but in fourth quadrant value of y coordinate is negative. So what is the relationship between the that? So y nu is equal to y old value is same, but we have to change the sign. So y nu is equal to minus y old. Clear? Yeah. So this is the simple fundamental. If any of the point in first quadrant like one comma one. So after the reflection, the points of coordinate of that point that is one comma minus one because the reflection is generated in the fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant uh, the uh, value of x coordinate is positive but value of y coordinate is negative. Clear? Yeah. So this is the equation x nu is equal to x old. So value of x coordinate remains same but value of y coordinate is in opposite sign. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now we have to use these two equations and the, in these two equations we have to convert it in the matrix form like this. So x nu, y nu, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, x old, y old. Clear? Yeah. This is the simple conversion of uh, in the above equation into the matrix form. If you multiply these two matrix and you will get the answer of the above equation like x nu is equal to, now multiply, first row, first column. So 1 into x old plus 0 into y old. If you multiply any of the value with 0, then that value converted in the 0. So 1 into x old. So answer is x nu is equal to x old. That is above equation number 1. And if you multiply second row and first column, so 0 into x old is equal to 0 plus minus 1 into y old. That means minus y old. So y nu is equal to minus y old. That is the uh, equation number 2. So we are now in this uh, equation we have to just convert it above two equation into single matrix equation. So you have to remember this equation for a uh, uh, solution of any of the exam. So this is the simple answer of the reflection about x axis and that is the equation of that. Yeah, you have to remember that any of the object in first quadrant if you find the reflection about x axis then that uh, object is reflected in the fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant just uh, value of all coordinate are same you have to just uh, change the value of y coordinate yeah. this is the reflection of y axis now we have to solve uh, uh, one more uh, derivation that is reflection about y axis so as you all know if any of the object in first quadrant if you find reflection about y axis then reflection is generated in the second quadrant and as you all know in second quadrant for value of x coordinate is negative but value of y coordinate is positive clear so if you find a reflection of any of the object about y axis at that time you have to just change value of x coordinate because value of x coordinate converted into positive into negative side but value of y coordinate is positive in both the quadrant first and second in both the coordinate value of y coordinate is positive Based on that, we have to derive the equation. So, in the reflection about y axis, the first part that you consider that is x old comma y old, and new point coordinate that is x new comma y new. So, value of x new is same as x old, but with negative sign. Clear? Because in first quarter value of x coordinate is positive, but in second quarter value of x coordinate is negative. So, you have to just change that equation. So x nu is equal to minus x old. Clear? Yeah. And y nu is equal to y old because of value of y coordinate in first quadrant as well as in second quadrant is positive. If you have a one point like a 5 comma 5 in first quadrant, if you find reflection of that point about y axis, then reflection is generated in the second quadrant and reflected point coordinate is minus 5 comma 5 because in second quadrant x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. Clear? Yeah. So this is the simple fundamental. Now using these two relations you have to find the equation in the matrix form like this. x new y new minus 1 0 0 1 x old y old. This is the simple conversion of above two equation into matrix form. If you multiply these two matrix then again you will get answer of about two equation. 
like x nu is equal to now first row first column minus 1 into x old plus 0 into y old so answer is minus x old so that is our equation number 1 same way if you multiply second row first column like 0 into x old plus 1 into y old so answer is y old so this is the answer of the second equation y nu is equal to y old so this is the simple equation of the reflection on y axis Clear? So you have to remember these two equations, reflection about x-axis and reflection about y-axis. If you find reflection about x-axis, then uh, reflection is generated in the fourth quadrant. But if you find reflection about y-axis, at that time reflection is generated in the second quadrant. Clear? Now we have to solve a numerical based on that. So, now this is the simple fundamental like this. Now in the in this diagram, in this animation, you have to understand that we have one triangle like A, B and C. If you find reflection about Y axis, then that triangle reflect, uh, reflection generated in the first quadrant. Clear? And after the first quadrant, we have to uh, generate reflection about X axis. At that time, that reflection generated in the fourth quadrant. So based on this animation, you can understand uh, easily this uh, uh, reflection geometry. Now we have to solve a numerical like given a triangle with coordinate. Now we have one triangle and coordinate of that triangle that is A 3,4, B 6,4 and C 5,6. Apply the reflection on the x axis and obtain the new coordinate of each other. We have one triangle, we have to find reflection of that triangle about x axis and find out uh, coordinates of the Reflected triangle. Clear? So we have two equations reflection about x axis and reflection about y axis, but in this numerical we have to use first equation reflection about x axis. So old corner triangle points that is A3,4, B6,4, C5,6 reflection has to be taken on the x axis. Clear? So we have to calculate first point. Coordinate of first point A that is 3,4. Now we have to use equation of reflection about x axis that is x nu is equal to x old and y nu is equal to minus y, y old. So x nu is equal to x old is equal to 3 and y nu is equal to minus y old. Now value of y old that is 4. So minus y old means minus 4. So first point reflection coordinate that is 3 comma minus 4. Same way you have to calculate uh, for the second coordinate B. Now uh, for the coordinate B, 6 comma 4, again you have to use same relation. X nu is equal to X old, Y nu is equal to minus Y old. So value of X coordinate remains same. So X nu is equal to 6. But value of Y, y coordinate, Y nu is equal to minus Y old. So you have to multiply with minus sign. So minus 4. So new point or, or reflected point of point B coordinates is 6 comma minus 4. Now last point coordinate that is C. Now we have old point coordinate of C that is 5 comma 6. After reflection you have to find the new point coordinate of C. So X nu is equal to X old. So new point coordinate of X that is S it is S same like 5 but the y coordinate y nu is equal to minus y old so the y coordinate will be 6 so minus y old that means minus 6 so answer of the point c that is 5 comma minus 6 now we have two, two triangles one is original triangle and second one that is reflected triangle so you have to plot these two, tri two triangles in the Cartesian system here like this so now in this uh, above triangle that is in first quadrant, so first quadrant triangle that is A, B and C, A point coordinate that is 3 comma 4, B point coordinate that is uh, 6 comma 4 and C point coordinate that is 5 comma 6 and that triangle is reflected in the fourth quadrant clear as you show in this figure and again you have to plot value of the reflected triangle. So point A, point of reflection of point A that is 3 comma minus 4. So you have to plot 3 comma minus 4. Point B that is 6 comma minus 4. Point C that is 5 comma minus 6. And you have to do this triangle. So from the figure you can understand easily 
that is your answer is right or wrong clear so from the figure you can easily understand that the reflection of triangle abc is generated in the fourth quadrant and it is like mirror image and the size of triangle is also same and it is look like a one type of mirror image clear so this is the simple fundamental of reflection geometric transformation clear so this is the example based on the Reflection about x axis. If you find reflection about y axis, then this triangle reflection is generated in the second part. Clear? Yeah? So in today's session, we discuss the uh, uh, reflection geometric transformation. So now total four types of transformation we have completed. That is first one. That is translation. Meaning of translation means move any of the object from one place to another place. Second, we discuss rotation. Rotation means if you want to rotate any of the object in clockwise direction or in anti clockwise direction that is second one third one we discussed that is uh, scaling means if you want to enlarge any of the object or reduce any of the object and fourth one that is discussed in today's session that is reflection means if you find, want to find mirror image of any of the object about x axis or y axis now only one transformation is remaining that is shearing yeah, so and that topic we will discuss in our next lecture. Thank you.